You may remember my buddy Alex from his shed video. Well, people asked about the software he used to build his 3D items. We're just gonna do a little demo to show you how he uses it. Fucking mail truck. Alex has a charger for his electric car that he's gonna get. So if I were to mount the bracket directly onto the siding, it would compress the siding and distort it. So I wanted to have a nice flat surface for mounting. And you wanna take uh, as many photos as possible and you always wanna move every time you take the photos. And you notice Alex has his recycling, it's pretty fucking messy. You don't wanna move the phone, you wanna move yourself. So when I'm taking photos, I'm clicking and then I'm taking a step back. If you just rotate and do a pan, it doesn't actually get any parallax change. So you just want to keep taking as many photos as you can and cover as much area as possible from all different angles. And I just went through and I did a, like 200 photos. You just uh, run a draft and then you click align images and you'll get something that looks like this. So right now it's a point cloud. So after you do a point cloud, you can then generate a model. And so right now this is just vertices and this is the solid model that it makes. Simplify tool, you run this, I set it to a million polygons, go back to mesh, you click unwrap and then texture. Yep, so then this you can just export into Maya. So in Maya, I figured out uh, where I'm gonna place uh, the charger and I measured out the bracket. Now, this model is a little uh, heavy. So if we just look at it, right? So it's a little uh, noisy. So I make a simplified version of it based on that. So you can cut off a section and then just make a simplified version just using simple polygon modeling. And then from that, I can subtract this geometry from uh, this shape. Even though this is a very large printer, it still wasn't large enough for... So what I did was uh, a cut down version where it's just two pieces and then uh, I glued them together. So, and this took uh, six hours to print. So this is where this comes in. So once I 3D printed it and it will keep the bracket nice and flat against the siding without distorting. Whatever printer you get will have its own slicing software. So I use We builder which came with the Vido printer. Alex isn't an engineer but he does do things like work on modeling of visual images of the James Webb telescope so he does technical stuff. And if you're curious Alex has a tutorial on YouTube and uh, I'll flash his YouTube channel right here you can go there and you can see how he makes this stuff.